What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're gonna check out WWE Top 20 Unscripted Moments in History. It's kind of weird how they worded it. When it comes to unscripted moments on WWE television, those be some of the best moments that people tend to remember for a very long time because it's not scripted it wasn't part of the show originally and it just happened organically i think those moments make what wrestling is great today sometimes you end up in situations where someone will get a push that they weren't supposed to get but because it happened organically it wasn't in the plan it wasn't in the script it wasn't in vince mcmahon's script it, it just seems more organic than when they're trying to force a wrestler down our throats or trying to force push someone. Case in point, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan got over organically and WWE did not like that. It was not scripted for them, for him to get over. They even tried to make him heal. It didn't matter. Daniel Bryan was one of the most over people before WrestleMania 30 and people wanted to see the championship on him. So, I like it when moments like that happen in WWE. So, they're going to check this out, man. This should be dope. Appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 40K and let's do this, Bad Bang. Oh, this is when my fan was dressed like Randy Savage in the crowd. <laughs> oh, this is the time where we go off the script. I love it. it doesn't no, I'm not <laughs> You are playing Hulk Hogan. Wow. The weed is good in Miami tonight. Uh, I'm <laughs> playing the Macho Man. Welcome to Raw. Good. Good to see you. All right. Don't want to get overconfident. I mean, the craziest on script in moments. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? And Christian RKO from the back. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Going into over the limit. <laughs> yeah that was actually i think i don't know exactly what happened with the kofi situ situation um this kind of actually ruined his push something happened within the match and randy got legitimately pissed so he was legitimately calling him stupid or whatever and then he used some backstage politicking that kind of derailed Kofi Kingston's push, which I thought was pretty lame, but yeah. RKO. Jinder says Mojo through the second rope. So good recovery. Oh. Oh. oh! That was definitely, oh. definitely oh. scripted. Twice about this. Uh. And here's security. Oh, that part. Back into the crowd. That part, she didn't know. That part, she didn't know. So someone had to tell her, wait a minute, yo, bro, like. He's supposed to be in the segment, so she didn't know. That wasn't supposed to happen, but he was actually supposed to be in the segment. Get with a big horn sticking out of it. Oh, look at there. We got Roy. Music City. Country music. Country music sucks. Actually, let's be serious though, because country music sucks. And it's not my character. Country music sucks. GM been very active tonight. You gotta ask the GM. He only communicate. And Kali. What? Well, what himself? He walked over the top rope. What is going on? Wait, what happened? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, and I believe now he's eliminated. Wait, what the? Yes. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, double DDT. <laughs> she is not supposed to be the winner. Oh. 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 Paying off, doing her new training regimen, her new attitude. Out of enemy territory. Blackbuster down goes Cesaro. The Celtic warrior with a knee to the spine. Of oh, the spine I remember this. Cesaro got the ball because he got mad. What, what is? What? And the problem. 
for Good on Cesaro. That was nice. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna on one here. Yeah, because people were being assholes, so they're throwing around a beach ball. Cesaro said, "Screw this!" Got out there, got out the ring, broke kayfabe, went out there, ripped up the ball, and went back to work in the ring, man. Don't be one of those type of guys. Like, they're putting on a show for you. You over here throwing a beach ball. Like, you don't give a damn. Like, that's not cool. But I like the fact that the crowd was like, hey, man, we, we appreciate that. That's dope. Chris Jericho reminding everyone of his feelings for Aja before the break. Did you really call Chris Jericho the... Better than all of them. This is the same Jericho who disowned Cam. Rolling up Neville here, shoulders down. Does oh, he have him? No need for that. That is oh, the official had no. Oh care. yeah. Your winner by dis. Oh, uh, okay. What happened here? I believe. Um, what was his name at the time in WWE? I know. Uh, he's in AEW. I forgot what they called him in WWE. Neville. They called him Neville in WWE. He, I believe, he like suffered a concussion in this match. So he was basically trying to go for like the quick pin here, but the ref uh, didn't do a, like a fast count or something like that. And let me go back to check it again. This is the same Jericho. Yeah, like he's, he's rolling up he's, Neville here, shoulders down. Does oh, he have him? No need for that. that. Yeah, and he was trying to basically he was hoping the ref went for a fast count so they can just call an audible. But he ended up pushing the ref, you know, go for a DQ. But it basically this was this was an actual audible because Neville was actually hurt. I don't know if it was concussion or some other injury, but he was legitimately hurt. So he had to call an audible to get himself disqualified or something so that way they can end the match quicker. The official had no choice. Yeah. Your winner by disqualification, Neville. This is not a contract. It is a declaration of independence, and WrestleMania is our revolution. The same thing Bobby Heenan pulled back in the day. John Cena, I defeated you at WWE Fastlane. Their children My will grow is. to be failure. This stupid little country. A country that will die. Yeah, that that gimmick it could have worked, but you know, I'm glad Rusev is uh, in AEW now. I'm glad he's where he belongs, somewhere where they'll they'll book him correctly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, I don't know what that was all about. That's not a, that's not a good unscripted moment, but yeah, that, that dude was definitely an asshole for that. Anyway. Remember, Lesnar does not have to be pinned or submitted. To oh, I know this like one. That. What about the quickness of this freight train? Oh. So he actually need hit a Brock Lesnar in the face. You'll see it. And Brock legitimately was throwing back some real punches just to let you know, hey, bro, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you'll see. This is, yeah, right here. That was legit. That was legit. He, and then he was, take a look at this right hand from Lesnar. That was a legit punch. And where's the right? Because he got mad. Oh, this is what man. furniture with feather looks like. Hey, he got mad. Like, he was like, yo, bro. Hey, bro. You, if we throwing real ones, I'll throw some real ones with you. I, 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 I'll have you stumbling for real. So, hey, you got to be careful with that when you going against the beast. How the hell Brock Lesnar wasn't knocked out by, by that? Boom! Oh, who, who, I did for you. Who, 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 I forgot that these, these, these young athletes, these tough enough people. Who wants to get in the ring? You want to get in the ring? I guess. Hey, no. trying to get a key lock on that. Shoulders are down, and this one is over. Daniel. This was a good match too. Such a this was one of the best. This became a legendary meme right here. <laughs> that became a legendary meme, bro. Of course. <laughs> Oh my God, what the heck? Did, what a title, yes. oh my God, did 
it happen. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes. <laughs> that may be the greatest thing I've ever seen. That may be the greatest. No, that they was. They boo you because, first of all, you suck. And second of all, <laughs> for God is, oh man, this is, this was the Roman that we really wasn't a big fan of, but while wow, has he is, he has blossomed into something fantastic. Can you think of a Roman Reigns, like Roman Reigns now, forgetting his promo lines? That seems so far-fetched, but back then... My man forgot what he was supposed to say. Forgot what he was supposed to say. This was still a good segment, though. It's called a promo, Shut kid. Your and mouth, if you John. want to be the big dog, you're going to have to learn how to do it. So go ahead. He's a part-time and fake ass. <laughs> Introducing his tag team partner, first. So do those three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a dusty guy. <laughs> I do like you. I like you a hell of a lot more than I like most people of course. in the back. There's one thing. This is a legendary unscripted Vince moment. McMahon's ass. I'm leaving with the WWE Championship. Who legendary. Knows? Maybe I'll go defend it in New Japan. Legendary. And maybe this company will be better after Vince McMahon's death. Getting it taken over by his idiotic daughter and his stupid son-in-law. This maid. Oh, this maid. Oh, oh, oh. CM Punk. Oh, yeah. He. <laughs> I think he, oh, what did he tear? What did he, he tore something getting into the ring, bro. So he had to sit down. He tore a muscle. I don't, I'm not sure what it was. Comment down below, let me know. I'm sure y'all know what it was. But he tore something trying to get into the ring. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what the hell? Wait a minute. And Cena, the team, oh. and Cena now going with the heat over the top. That this match be restarted. Yep, of course, this has to be the number one moment because they ring the bell before he even started tapping. Let me, let me go back. Let me go back. The Montreal Screwjob. Classic. He never even tapped. And then he spit on Vince. Yep. Yeah, man. That that was that was an unscripted moment that legitimately brought some bad blood between a lot of people back then, man. And uh sometimes the unscripted moments can be great. Sometimes they can be uh pretty bad, man. But I enjoyed this video, brought back some great memories. Comment down below, let me know what was your favorite unscripted moment from this video. If I have to choose it's going to always be the CM Punk pipe bomb. They did plan on him going out there, but it wasn't on the script. Whatever he said is whatever he felt. Vince gave him the okay to just go ahead, let it rip. Whatever you want to say, go ahead. As long as it's within the guidelines of, um, of the network, go ahead, have at it. And that's exactly what he did. And that moment right there brought me back to wrestling it brought a lot of people back to wrestling it was all over social media it made cm punk the legend that he is when it comes to the wrestling world that one pipe bomb bro spoke volume so that was my favorite moment from this video so comment down below let me know i would love your thoughts and opinions appreciate all the love and support road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking to me damn i fucked up the outro let me try this again appreciate y'all kicking it with me and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. That's better.